YouTube closed captioning. That's what we're going to be taking a look at, YouTube closed captions. What we're going to do is we're going to add a caption to a video so that the Google bot can go out and figure out what the heck this video is saying because it's still not that good at figuring it out all on its own. So let's go look at our video manager and see how we got to where we are right now. So when we're inside the video manager inside YouTube, you can see the videos that you've uploaded. And the ones that happen to have these little CC marks next to them are the ones you've put closed captions on. And you may not have a lot of them. I have a few. I do most of the ones that I really care about, the SEO value of them. I always add captions to them. So here's one I want to add to right here called YouTube Annotation Analytics and Measuring Annotation Interactions. Also something else you might be interested in if you're doing video SEO work. So just to the right of the thumbnail of the video, I'm going to choose a drop down menu and choose where it says captions. And that'll bring me right back to where we first started. And by default, automatically, the YouTube program with this what's called machine transcript tries to do its best to figure out what your video is saying. And um, it's getting a little bit better. Um, I'd have to really take a close look at it to make sure it's saying all the right words. But in the past, this was actually somewhat humorous in the fact that it didn't do that well. So I don't really trust it at this point. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to instead upload a caption file or a transcript that I had made. Um, you can either type this up from your script or you can send it out to a service. I use a service uh, that I like. It's about a dollar a minute. It's called speechpad.com and that seems to work for me. So I'm going to open up this one right here. This is a plain text file and it's not a caption file because it does not include time codes, but it's just a transcript file. So we're going to change that to transcript. If it's plain text without the time codes, it's called a transcript. Make sure you choose the right language because it's going to YouTube with its internal program is going to match up the words with the time code in the video and put those all together. So it says it's processing it for us right now. So I'm going to just let it chew on it for a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm just going to have to pause this and we'll come back when we're ready. All right, so we're back. It looks like it's just finished up, and now we've got English, which has no name, and we've got Machine Transcript, which was there before. So I'm going to open up this English one, and we're going to give our track a name to help us figure out which one it is. And I always suggest selecting your title, because that's hopefully keyword loaded. And so you can keyword load your track name. I'm going to add the word script to the end. And this is a brand new feature just added to YouTube, the ability to actually edit in line with our captions. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to click on one of these. It gives me a warning telling me that uh, I might lose some of my additional formatting. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to change where it says, hi, we're going to, and change it to, hi, we are going to. Um, you can actually make slight differences, but I do not suggest making a lot of differences versus what your actual text is showing you. So we'll click OK with that. Uh, the interface shows us strike through text where it used to be there. And there's our new text. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to click Done. And hopefully this is working. Normally when I click Done, that should close it. Um, so I'm going to click Play. See how this lines up with our Close captioning. Take a look at some of the new stuff that YouTube has added. To See how it's highlighting the text as it's reading area, it. Area which is dealing with annotations. So here's an example of a video that I've made that utilizes annotations. I've All right, so you get the idea. That's how that works. Content. You can verify that things are working properly. And so I'm going to hit done again, just one more time. Go take a look at this in the video manager. See if this thing actually took or not. It's surprising that it hasn't shown that. It's not showing any. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. It is. It's showing the CC. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click on this and let it play and verify out here that the caption is working. Take a look at some of the new and we stuff do that by turning on the little CC icon here. Area, which is dealing with I've got my caption set to be showing so in blue. That I've made oh, let me pause this. And close some ads. Okay. So I've got some captioning going on. There it is. That looks pretty cool. So our closed captioning has now been all set up, and the purpose of doing this, just as a reminder, is to make sure that the Googlebot can find, and the YouTube, can figure out what the words are in your text that's being said audio-wise, and hopefully that matches up with some of the keyword-loaded titles and the description information that you put in here, 
and your tags, all that good stuff matches up so that the search engines are going to do a good job finding your stuff. Hey there, you know what? Something I forgot to mention is when you have added a new caption and the program has automatically done it for you, then you might want to do this. You might need to go after you've uploaded your your uh, captions, go back to your caption interface. That's just another way to get there. And the machine transcript one, let's go ahead and tell it to disable the machine one because that's the one we don't want to keep going. And then we say we're done with that. And it's giving us a warning captions with language English and name already exists to edit. So I'm going to cancel this. We're going to come back. It looks like the uh, title didn't take the last time I, I did it. So we're going to add in the title name again and make sure that we get the proper name. So you're just seeing <laughs> this is this is the real stuff. You're going to run into it yourself probably. So I'm adding the word script to the end of it. And we're going to click done. And then we'll go back to the video manager. That's sort of my place where I keep going back to. And then here we'll just pull down, choose captions. See if it kept track of it this time. Looks like it's still not saving the name. And I'm still going to try to rename this thing. Nope. YouTube. Annotations. Analytics. We'll just leave it at that. Say done. Ah, this time it took it. Okay. So great. Uh, so now if we view the video on the page, you should be able to see, and I'm just going to pause this. You should be able to see in the closed caption area that we've only got one, and that's the one that we want is the one that we just uploaded. Okay, so you're going to want to turn off the machine translated one, if at all possible. Uh, have fun poking around with the brand new changes. Hopefully this will clean itself up shortly. So for more video tips and tricks like this, find me, Ronnie Bincer, on Google+. And I talk all about Hangouts, which is a great tool that's inside Google+. Give you tips on how to use Google+, well, as well as YouTube. So I hope to see you sometime in the future. Bye.